Hi guys, my name is Chris Lee and in this video I'm going to talk about Adam Sandler. He didn't always make that much money. He had to start from the bottom to go all the way to the top. He wasn't one of those people that like became an instant star. He went to making low budget movies that got really bad reviews and he had like small comedy tours. Pretty much what I'm explaining here is how Adam Sandler went from an all time low to becoming one of the most popular people in the world and an icon in the comedy world. At about college age, Adam Sandler started doing stand-up comedy in a coffee shop, pretty much. And it didn't really have a big crowd like he does today. Um, it had about three to ten people at most, and only like one would applause for him whenever he does a stand-up comedy act. And he didn't have a big budget like right now, and he didn't make a good salary, so he only got like ten bucks in that. One day when Adam Sandler was doing one of his small time comedy tours, um, in this crowd was Emmy Award winner Anthony Quinn. Pretty much what Anthony Quinn did, he actually recognized Adam and he introduced him to Bill Cosby, which is one of the veterans of comedy. And Bill Cosby accepted him into a show that was running at the time at NBC, The Cosby Show. Bill Cosby put him on a show as this guy named Smitty, and he did about four or five episodes at the most. It was one of the first big breaks Adam had, and he loved it. But it's, that's, that's one of his, that's how he got started. Adam Sandler in 1989, after The Bill Cosby Show, was invited to do this movie called, uh, I, I can't. Um, the Unsinkable Shecky Moskowitz, which was a really low budget movie. It didn't have the right cameras, it didn't have the good budget, it didn't have the right scenes. And whenever it didn't even come out in theaters because it was so bad. And even when people watched it, they, they, critics gave it really horrible reviews, like this one right here and this one right here. Yeah, it wasn't so good actually. But it was the first movie that Adam Sandler did, and he did not like it. Despite that horrible movie that he did, Adam Sandler actually, because of that movie and because of the Cosby show mostly, he actually went on to do even bigger acts with people. He actually attracted huge crowds, and he liked that. His comedy shows actually got him recognized, and after that, Adam Sandler, 1990, was finally invited to go on the show Saturday Night Live, which is now a really popular show. He did that from 1990 to like 1996. Or he worked with people like Chris Farley, David Spade, Chris Rock, a ton of celebrities and comedies at that time. Actually, he did so good, um, he actually got permission to write his very first movie, Billy Madison, which he loved it. He, it was the first movie that he got to create himself, and it was the first movie that actually got good. It got over $7 million in the theaters. And that's pretty much how he explains how Adam Sandler went to doing low audience comedy to be becoming one of the biggest stars in the world and it only elevated from there he started making happy gilmore big daddy all that type of stuff which always landed, which ended up leading to the movie right now in 2014 blended and if he didn't if he didn't just keep on going he probably wouldn't have made that movie right now he would have just quit he probably would have just had a normal life he, nobody would probably be able to recognize him and also, he also made a ton of people laugh. And because Adam Sandler kept on going, he, he made it really far into life. Which I guess I'm pretty much trying to say is, even though that things look really bad right now, you should just try to keep on going because it's always gonna end up better if you keep on trying. And if it's, I guess it's gonna sound really like Disney. I guess if you have a dream, you should really pursue it and it might come true. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Well, I'm in the classroom right now, so turn around and look at me awkwardly.